In this video, I'm going to show you the payments report and how to verify cashless revenue deposits sent to your bank account. In order to access the payments report, you need to have the View All Bank Accounts permission in CLive. Contact your account administrator if you don't see payments in the Reports menu. To get to the Payments Report, click the Reports tab and select Payments. What you see on this screen are all the revenue payments to date which have been electronically transmitted to your bank. So let's take a closer look at the page and break down the columns of data. The first column gives you the timestamp for each payment that was sent to your bank account. The date of each payment is dependent on the deposit cycle you selected when you provided us with your bank account information. The default is weekly, with electronic funds transfer payments sent on Friday. Depending on your bank's process, funds are typically posted the following business day. The posting day may vary from one institution to another. There are a variety of options from which you can choose regarding the days you receive your electronic deposits. If you'd like to make a change to the payment cycle, contact customer service and we'll be glad to help. The reference number is just an ID for our server database, so you can ignore that column for the most part. However, it is useful if you ever have a question about a particular payment. Just provide the reference number of the deposit when you contact us. The total amount column lists the dollar value of the deposit sent to your bank for each pay period. This column shows the name of the bank to which the funds are being sent. If you have more than one account set up in CLive, you will see the name of each bank to which revenue was sent generated by the machines assigned to them. The bank account numbers for each institution will be listed in this column. The owner column lists the name of your business as it was set up in CLive. The payment number identifies the payment for our accounting system at the server. Each line in the payment list is a hyperlink which enables you to drill down to get details of the revenue generated by each machine which had an activated device installed in it during the pay period. So let's click a payment to access the report with the details. We're not going to take the time now to go over every column on this page. However, there are a few things you need to know when it comes to analyzing the data in this report. First, notice the number of transactions in this column. As you can see, that number is also a hyperlink. Click any number in this column and you will see a breakdown of each individual transaction which occurred during the period for the machine on the line. Notice that the report divides the transactions between swiped cards and contactless payments, that is, tapped cards or transactions initiated by a smartphone app such as Apple Pay or Android Pay. Notice also that the processing fees number is clickable. Clicking one of those numbers will scroll the page down to the process fee section where you can see a breakdown of the fees charged per transaction for the sales on the machine during the period. Finally, notice these numbers, which are in the Adjustments column. If you've set up a monthly payment plan for the purchase of devices from Cantaloupe and payments have been deducted from your total revenue during the time period, the adjustments will appear in this column. If we scroll down to the bottom of the report, we can see the details of the adjustments. It's important to note that each adjustment shows the date the payment was deducted and the number of the payment in the plan agreed to by the customer. Let's scroll back to the top of the page. These icons in this corner allow you to update the page and output the data in a variety of formats. The first icon simply refreshes your view on the screen. Each of the other icons represent a different data format, including Microsoft Excel and PDF. To go back to the payment list, Simply click the back button on your browser. And that concludes this video.